How are you doing? Our senses are directly linked with the internal points, specific points in the bodies. Clusters of nerves we call chakras. Our sense of smell is influenced by the pelvic cavity, the pelvic floor, the muladhara chakra. Tastes, swadishtana, the sacrum. Our eyes are linked with the core, the manipura. The chest is where we manifest sensations and feelings. The throat for our ears, yeah, our sense of hearing, and here the forehead region inside is our overall awareness. So what can we learn from this? We can apply the principle in our daily lives. Yeah. And this is common. When you're hungry, the first to react are your eyes, right? And after that, you feel the head hurts because the occipital part of the brain is where we process the optical information. Okay. So when you feel your eyes are strained, start to strain as you work, it might be an issue of the core. You might have forgotten to take a break already. Yeah. For example, you wake up in the morning, your eyes are wet, you are swollen, blinking, twitching. It might be an ongoing issue of your core. And the other senses, when they're affected, yeah, they might be an issue of those specific points. During meditation, yeah, and this is also common, yeah, you can smell really subtle fragrances or odors, or you can taste, and then you look around. There's no specific there associated with that particular taste or smell. Because when we meditate, yeah, we stimulate those clusters of nerves and they become yeah, sharper. Our senses become sharper too. And the chest too. Yeah? Um, not just physical sensations, but emotional, spiritual sensations. So meditation can bring about yeah, many, yeah, I say deep yeah, or even hidden emotions. And, and this is good yeah, to drain those heaviness or stagnation up. Yeah. If you feel like your voice is not coming out and then there's issue with your sense of hearing, it could be an issue of the throat. Yeah. So chant, sing, and chanting. If you feel like your overall system is drained, relax, it may be here. Yeah. Massage your ears. Yes, this is important. Yes, our ears, we tend to uh, take this for granted. Our ears are the external endings of the vagus nerve. So when we massage the ears and pull the ears out like this, down and up, circle around, you may use the index finger to press close to the hole inside and down. And then breathe, so we stretch the vagus nerves. Because the vagus nerves, aside from their function of controlling breathing, yes, breathing, heart rate, digestion, elimination, assimilation, and many uh, functions of our endocrine systems, when we're stressed, the vagus nerve contract, and this will increase the pressure in the head. So when we stretch our ears, we also stretch the vagus nerve, and this will decompress the brain. Yeah. But this is not, of course, an over, overnight cure. Yeah. Yoga is a preventive, I say, discipline. Before it happens, we need to prevent yeah, the issue from yeah, hurting us. Yeah. It's a habit. Yeah. And this is mindfulness. Yeah. Because we need to, or yoga teaches us to become mindful of our actions on and off the mat. Yeah. And then knowing that there is an association with uh, an issue we experience at a particular point to our inner system, yeah, then yeah, we can use that knowledge yeah, to manage our health, our wellness, our well-being in general.